It's us, the commentators. Welcome to a Minecraft tutorial by Shift Fizzy. I'll be showing you a padlock tutorial on how to make this. This padlock has a special combination that opens this door. See these things, these will not work. Door won't open. You have to have the secret code. That won't work. But if you do this, uh, that's my code. And the door opens. So, pretty nice, huh? Then you can store your diamonds, iron. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Have a secret room, have your house in behind it. It doesn't really matter to me. Whatever you choose. At least my padlock, and I'm going to show you how to make it in a sec. Whoops. Yeah, I'll close up. So, behind all these things, I have the redstone. Uh, this is what it looks like at the end. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. So, just bear with me. Okay, so right here, this is the middle one. The middle one right here. This is what the middle one does. It goes here. I put a repeater here so it would not connect to these. So I put a repeater, and I just had it go along here, up. And then I had it go to right here. A thing about redstone is, uh, if you have a repeater, repeaters can go through blocks. Let's see if this thing isn't uh, retracted. This thing isn't retracted, disconnected to that, but it's, it can if it's right here. So once you press that button, it goes to the first stage. And the second one, obviously, it goes just like this, up here. This one is uh, to the bottom. This one right here goes to that block, which is the bottom left padlock. Right here. And the top left is... Uh, well, top left is probably the hardest one. Uh, you go here. You cannot have it connect to this, so I have the repeater. I have to go this one. I just have the repeater for an extension cord. It goes through the block, but it only goes through the block if the middle one right here is powered. Not powered, can't go through the block. So you press the middle one, goes through the block, gets to this one. Let me uh, press the button here. Powered, goes through, not powered, doesn't go through. And then it goes here, it can't get to this one without this block being powered. So I have this block connected to the bottom left one. So I press the bottom left right here. And then the block extends, goes here, this is just an extension cord, extension cord. This inverts the signal. And then it goes to that and then there's a piston behind this, sticky piston goes down underneath here to the other door and this is just simple uh, door mechanics uh, two-way piston door mechanics you know just like uh, I messed it up you know easy mechanics you know and then uh, yeah so here's another thing is my auto farm if you uh, sow all the stuff, it will go. So you have plants all your seeds. You plant all your seeds. This is a pretty pricey farm, to be honest. Because pistons cost one iron every time and three wood. So count. You can have as long this way as you want. As long as you want. So and then I have iron bars just for the looks. You honestly don't need them. But uh, wheat can go through. Blocks can go through like that. And you can't. So it's just a little nicer for you. You know, so you come here, you press this, and it the water out, and usually the wheat should be fully grown here. Pushes the wheat down here, and then you just come down here and you collect it at the bottom, and it should just flow here. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's the automatic part. You do have to plant the seeds, and this is a pretty big farm, so it is kind of annoying to do. So yeah, also that's my padlock and my auto wheat farm. Hope you enjoy, if you enjoyed for more tutorials just hit that like button, subscribe, I got some music, I got some other stuff, so please, like and subscribe. This will really mean a lot to the channel and nice to have you as a sub, we're pretty active so, in the code opens the door, you get in, get the diamonds, you know, make the diamond sword or whatever. So thank you for watching. I'm out.